On this episode, I'm going to show you how to grow food from kitchen scraps. So it's really not that difficult. All you're going to want to do is in this case, you can see here, I've got a Taiwanese, Taiwanese cabbage and I just cut off the end when I was cooking it. I just, you know, chopped it up like normal, but I just left like a good inch on the end of it. And then you just take that and you put it in something that has, you can put basically about half of that kitchen scrap in water. And you just let it sit there. And this is about two weeks old. And you can see it just turned from, I mean, it's starting to look gross. So this is gonna, I'm gonna go put this in the ground now, but you know, it was, it was just a one inch chunk and now it has all these leaves on it. So I've noticed now after about two weeks, it's not growing any, the leaves aren't getting any bigger. So this is about the time it needs to go in the dirt. But really this tell sign is the length of the, the roots or the presence of roots. You can see the roots here are quite big. So this is ready to go in the soil. Now, depending on the type of produce, they might have to grow a little bit differently. Avocado, you take the seed and put toothpicks in it on either side and kind of suspend it over the water. The key thing here is just get creative with it, but you want your kitchen scrap to be half in water and half out of water. You don't want it to be drowning in water. So in this case, this Taiwanese cabbage, it was easy because it was already had like a flat base. I could just put it on the bottom of this dish. Whoops, I'm pouring water everywhere. <laughs> but I could I could put it on the, the bottom of this dish and just fill it half full of water and it was good to go. Some things like you have to take like the seed, like an avocado, but I mean, other things you can just like carrots, you can just take the carrot top with a little bit of the carrot, you know, a half an inch or a one inch of the carrot and just put that in water. You can put a whole bunch of them in there and that'll sprout carrot tops and then eventually you'll get roots and you can just plant that. So let's go put this in the soil now. All right, so now we're at my garden here. I've got my cardboard covering my soil. You can see it looks beautiful underneath. I just use this to help get rid of the weeds. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna punch a hole in this and plant right through it. So I don't really need that much of a hole actually, just because of the cardboard. But we're just gonna plant it right there. So we're gonna move some soil around. Like that. And I like to just give one little push right in the center there just to kind of get it anchored a little bit and then put this back over top and we're going to rip this off so there's a little hole in my cardboard there we go like that and then we're just going to tuck that there we go so that's it and all i need to do now is just water it a little bit i've got a bit of water here this will be fine and uh we're all set and that's it, that's how to grow food from kitchen scraps. If you guys end up doing this, let me know in the comments down below how it works for you and which vegetables or fruits you've done it with. Hopefully you enjoyed it, subscribe if you found it useful. And until next episode, have a great day.